Hey everybody, I'm Dave Houghton from In a Pickle, the show that's dedicated to the less glamorous side of baseball, and this is The Pickle Jar. The Pickle Jar is a show dedicated to opening up old packs of baseball cards and seeing what we can fish out. On today's show, we're going to be opening up a box of Topps 1988. Look at this gem right here. 33 years old in here, okay? We're talking about some of the notable players in this box. We got your Kirby Puckets, your George Brett, your Mike Schmidt. I think this is the one with Mike Schmidt's wearing a warm-up coat. He's like that Larry Bird card that you see when he's, he's doing the three-point competition in a jacket. Yeah, you can't get much better than that. So a couple of other notable cards in here. You have a Mark McGuire second year, I believe. And then, of course, there was a much sought-after Barry Bonds. Even before all this stuff with Barry Bonds, people still love this card. It's that Barry Bonds where he's still got the really small head and he's in that Pirates uniform that you loved him so much for in the 80s. And then, of course, you have a Jose Canseco. You have a Nolan Ryan. Uh, Nolan Ryan, it's the last known Nolan Ryan in the Astros uniform. That beautiful white with the rainbow, almost rainbow-looking like shoulders, that stripes they had. You also have a Pete Rose manager card. He was the manager from 84 to 89, but he stopped playing in 86. So he had a couple of years when he was doing both, uh, he was collecting double paychecks there for that one. You also have a Tom Glavin rookie card in this pack. Jim Abbott, Jim Abbott USA rookie card. He was the pitcher with one hand. Roberto Alomar rookie card. You have that uh, weird thing where they used to do checklists and uh, they had the record breaking cards. There's a Nolan Ryan record breaker in here. You have a Cal Ripken, who Cal Ripken, any card back in the 80s was all about. Uh, another another hard to find card that uh, everybody talks about. There's a Don Mattingly. There's a Don Mattingly uh, New York AL card. It's like this very super rare card that nobody really can seem to find. I, I doubt it's going to be in this box, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm opening it. We're going to go maybe three packs right now, and then in the next episode, we'll open up more. So right now, I'm going to break the seal of this box from 1988. Look at those. Huh? Unbelievable. 1988. These packs still have the gum in them. Ooh. Gum from 33 years ago. I I guess I gotta do it, right? Now, these, I don't know where <laughs> these were stored. Um, obviously, they, they the box is in great condition, so it doesn't look like it's waterlogged or anything, but we're talking about a piece of gum that is 33 years old. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna let you listen to the pack. I remember being a kid and just doing this. Me and my father would open up packs and packs of cards. Ugh, man. All right, so right off the bat, there's... <laughs> right off the bat, there's the piece of gum stuck to the card. I don't know if you can see it. My, my, uh, my light here is way too bright. I'm sweating under these lights. I think I'm sweating because I'm afraid what 33-year-old gum tastes like so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and try to rip that off listen all right here we go 33 years in the making all right. oh my god I'm, I'm almost 40 years old i'm eating gum came out when I was seven. Excuse me. Yeah. <coughs> oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> so I think in future episodes, I'm just going to go ahead and not eat the gum. But, of course, this is the first episode of the Pickle Jar, so I had to go ahead and... Oh, God. 
think I'd rather eat bugs. Excuse me again. Jesus. That's gross. All right. So this, obviously, it looks untampered with. Okay. So, uh, and you can tell right away when you open up a bag of cards or a pack of cards if it's been tampered with because then all the cards would face the same way. So, uh, right off the bat, our first card is the Spring Fever Baseball. Um, you you go ahead and fill this out, and you can win a trip to four to the 1989 Spring Training Camp of the team of your choice. You think they'd still honor that if I went ahead and filled it out? You think they'd, uh, think they'd go ahead and send me to go see the Red Sox down in I doubt it. Okay, so now we got uh, Mark Sullivan from the Red Sox. Okay, I'm a big Red Sox fan. I'm going to go ahead and try to do something about this light. Uh, now it's in the camera, so of course you're going to see it. I'm going to go ahead and do something about this light so you can see all these cards. Uh, Mark Sullivan, I, I don't remember him at all. And I'm, I'm a pretty big Red Sox fan. Uh, according to this, he was on the Red Sox in 1982. <clears throat> I can still taste that gum. He was a catcher with the Red Sox. I, I don't remember him, but that's okay. We got a 1988 checklist card. Huh? Look at that. Checklist. You don't see those anymore. Go ahead and fill that out. See how many cards I get. And we got a, a Gene Gerber. Okay, I don't remember him at all. There's, there's going to be a lot of cards in here that I don't remember. Uh, he played for the Royals here. And we got Dave England from the... Uh, the Expos. Oh, look at that. Here's the first notable card of people that we would know. A uh, Tony La Russa when he was the manager of the Athletics. This guy's still in baseball. He's now managing the Chicago White Sox. Um, yeah. Look at that. All right. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to go ahead and name every player because you know there's, there's plenty of people in here that we have no idea who they are. And, you know. Um, and you know what? I'll go through it more extensively, and maybe we can get a uh, small dill out of it. Small dill is the show that's dedicated to the player who's not yet ready for their own in a pickle show. Uh, you know what? There's uh, so far I'm not hitting any of those any of those players that we mentioned earlier. So uh, you know what? We're gonna open up another pack. All right, I'm not gonna eat the gum this time. I promise you. Right. So here's, here's a funny thing. Uh, right on the pack, it says, Be a superstar. Say no to drugs. I don't know if you can see that. Man. I, it's probably backwards on here. Um, how many Daryl Strawberries am I going to find in this? Okay. Go ahead and uh, throw that away. Anybody wants to uh, want me to save you a stick of gum, go ahead and email us at uh, inapickpod247 at gmail.com. And I will gladly send you out a couple of slices of this terrible, terrible gum. All right, we're going to put these cards in order. I can go ahead and get that spring training thing in again. Okay. Hey, Wally Joyner. All right. Look at that. Angels, Wally. All right. Uh, then we got a whole lot more of nothing, huh? Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. No. No, nope. I'll tell you though, I'm still having a great time. Uh, if you like this episode, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. That would be uh, Jerry Reed. I wonder if he was related to Jody Reed. Uh, Bruce Sutter. Didn't something weird happen to him? All right, last pack before we wrap it up today. Hopefully, maybe in the next episode, we could find something that's cool. I swear to God, I won't eat that gum ever again. That was just terrible. I can stop something. Something, something from leaking in the house or something. All right. Get, uh, Chuck Tanner. He was the manager, huh? I don't know how old this guy is. He looks like he's 100. Yeah. Look at the glasses. Leron Durham. Look at those glasses. No, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to just shine it right up there. Look at that, huh? 1980s. Look at that. That is 1980s to a T. Uh, you know what? 
think we're striking out on this one. I, I do want to. Oh, wait a minute. Hold the phone. We got a Bill Buckner from the Angels. Look at this guy. Boston's most hated son. Even though I, I'm pretty sure we forgave him. This was the uh, this was the team that the Red Sox traded him to after uh, behind the bag happened. Uh, real quick, I, I just want to. Just want to go ahead and note something real quick. You don't see this a lot. Well, I mean, you don't really see a lot of baseball cards anymore. I know they make them, but they're just not as cool as they were back then. This guy, full mouth and dip. Huh? Huh? Look at that. All right. So, we didn't get any of those notable cards that we mentioned, but we will continue to try. I promise. Okay? So, if you like this, please like and subscribe. That would mean the world to us. And check out In a Pickle at 365sportscast.com slash IAP. You can also find them on Twitter and Instagram at NAPickPod. That's NAPickPod. And if you want to email us and you have a suggestion for the show, this is just our first episode, so hopefully we can get the ground. We can uh, get our sea legs and uh, hit the ground running with this one. Um, so, yeah. So, check out all of our stuff on the 365sportscast.com. And I will see you next time. I'm Dave Houghton. 